So I hope you're having a great day on today. Welcome to Convos, Canvas, and Christ. This is my channel. My name is Shakur Walker. And I did recently change the channel name because I wanted to go in a different direction. And But it's still the same type of content that I had before in my old videos. I still want to have conversations about different topics and also provide some encouragement to people and also put some artwork in there because I believe art has its own language and it has its own message as well. And I really am trying to get back into, you know, the painting and doing my sketching. So I do want to carry y'all on this journey. And the ultimate goal also for this channel is to invite other people on this journey as well to come on channel commentate. So it just won't be me, but actually create this big wide community of creative individuals and people that can share their biblical knowledge on different things that we're experiencing in this life. So I'm going to touch on three little things because I feel as you get older, the expectations are much higher that people expect you to do this, do that. You should be married by this age. You should be doing this by this age. You should have children by this age. Or if you do have a child, your child will be acting like this. They tell you to do this, do that. You know, just structure your home, do this, 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 and that. But it's just that it gets so frustrating that you just like, man, can I actually be myself? But I'm learning now, especially this week, that I need to put out people expectations and put on God expectations. How do you expect my life to go? How do you expect me to raise my son? How do you expect me to navigate the different things that I'm trying to pursue? You know, where do he see my life going? Where did he plan for my life to go? His desires for me because sometimes we leave God out the mix and we're trying so hard to please people. And for some of us, you know, we have received some detrimental consequences for trying to please somebody. You know, it didn't yield anything, no fruit, no nothing. And we still didn't get the opportunities we thought we can get. We still didn't get the relationship. We didn't get the job. We didn't get the congratulations or anything like that. So from those experiences, you know, we have to just wake up to, I can't please everybody. I cannot. I can't build my whole life around what someone says or what they do. I cannot put my identity in the hands of this world. I have to choose that I'm going to follow God's expectations for my life because he actually wants me to succeed. He wants me to have a prosperous end. So you have to make that decision on your own. So let's just touch on three things right quick. Culture versus the church. I'm a church baby. I grew up in a church. I'm a church of God in Christ. So of course, I know everything pertaining to the church. I know dialogue, Sunday school, all those different things. But I also had to come to a point that I want a real relationship with God, not just go to church just to perform it, but a real actual relationship where I talk to him, he revealed things to me, and he actually helped me do some of the struggles I was having. Because what I was doing, I was living a life just performing because I was afraid to do anything wrong because I knew the type of church I was going to at that time where there were some people there. Notice I didn't blame the church, but I was calling, calling out people. There are some people there that, you know, they just, they had that spirit of gospel, I'm say that. And of course, if one person did this and that, you're going to hear about, um, go tell the pastor, you know, it's just, it was just that frustrating thing. I didn't want to fall because I didn't want people to think bad about me. So of course, that happened when I became pregnant with my son. And around that time, I really knew that I did need that relationship with God. I couldn't play both sides because before I got pregnant with my son, I was trying to play both sides. I wanted to be out in the world because I wanted to be seen as cool. I want to keep, I want to be talked about by being this church girl. And in the church, I was trying hard to perform and be this church woman or this this um, this daughter that everybody think I should be because both my parents are in ministry. So it's just that battle and that struggle I had from a teenage all throughout my, you know, up to this point even now, sometimes dealing with that because when people look at you, you look at your lifestyle, they all might assume that you need to be doing, you know, they all might assume you need to do this, do that. You know, your lifestyle has to measure up to what society is saying. But Here's some news flash. Society is not right. Society goes wherever the wind blows. So when it comes to that culture, you know, and then also dealing, just dealing with the church. When I say dealing with the church, actually dealing with God's word and being around other strong Christians that you have to make up in your mind 
the type of person that you're going to be. It's black and white. There is no gray. You can't be two people at the same time. You have to make up in your mind the type of person that you're going to be. And the next, people pleasing. We can't please everybody. I'm not going. I'm not going to go to school when this person say I need to go to school. I'm not going to not move here because they feel like I can't move here. I have to follow God in everything I do. If God gives me peace about a decision, then I have to follow Him. And I know that's harder for us that we have parents that we want to please, we have loved ones that we want to please, and sometimes we have friends who want to please. But we also have to understand that we have a life that we have to live. I have to individually live this life that's assigned to me. And I can't base my days and my emotions off of what people say or how they react to the decisions that I make. Now, that's not saying every decision I make is right, but I'm living life. You know, I'm learning from things. And it's not to say not to listen to nobody. I do believe in wise counsel, but do not make people God. Don't make them God. Don't sit here again this, you know, this deep fit or this depressing circle, depressing mode that, oh, this person didn't like what I did. They didn't react what I react the way they need to. And of course, I had negative comments on the small child that I had before on the video, but that's not going to discourage me to stop making videos. It's not going to discourage me to to not give my testimony as a single mother. I'm going to still say and talk about things God has done in my life to encourage somebody else. So people pleasing, it runs out. You get tired. You burn out from that, trying to pretend to be something that everybody wants you to be. It gets old. I promise y'all. I live, you know, I had those moments in my life where I was trying so hard just to please people or please this person I was in a relationship with. And it did not work well because that truly wasn't who I was. And we do have to understand this. If this person is not willing you know, to really be around me without trying to change everything about me and change what I do with this to make them feel comfortable, then, hey, cut ties. I'm not here to make people feel comfortable around me. You know, I'm here for that, you know, here to just fulfill my call. And I also, you know, continue to pray that God send me the right people that fit my life, that fit who I am, the right friends, the right spouse, that fit where I'm going, the right business partnerships. Because I just don't want to waste time on people that really do not care nothing about me. So just leave it as that. And last thing, run your own race. This had really hit me a lot harder this week than never. I have to run my own race. I can go as far as I want to go. I can stay stuck if I want to. I can go as high as I want to go. Or I can stay stuck where I'm at. And this is something that God had to tell me during my prayer time. That this is my race. The race already been won. God has designed a life for me. I have to endure. I have to run and keep running, fulfilling those things and fulfill my commitment and stay true to my own path. I don't have to compare my past to my else's. We're not made the same. We don't have the same framework. God made me a certain way because of my calling. He made them a certain way because of where he's taking them to go. So it's really foolish to compare what I'm doing and what someone else is doing. I have to run my own race. I have to look at my life. What can I do with my own life? What can I conquer? What can I overcome? What can I do with what is in my hand? What can I do with my talents and gifts? And that's really living by God's expectations rather than people's expectations. Because living by what people want you to do, you're going to always be stressed out. You're going to always be running behind, really. You're going to always strive to live by someone's limitations. So it's really that also I did forget one thing. Living by limitations. That's the last thing. Live by limitations. Go ahead and jump into that. So when we live by limitations, we actually just put ourselves in this box. And we only live by what people have said or past experiences. If you say that you cannot make this certain amount of money, then you're going to always have that poverty mindset. If you say, I don't have time to do this, then you're not going to achieve very much of life because it does come with sacrifice. I had to learn that. I had to make myself get up to do certain things. I had to make myself set time to sit here and study for this and that. I had to learn that it comes with sacrifice. 
So living by limitations just have you go around the circle. You're really not living with your potential. You're really just wasting time because you have to learn to break out of the limitations. I don't care what they say about your age. I don't care what they say if you're a single mom or a single dad. I don't care they say, oh, you're married or you're divorced. You don't have no bad. You don't have this money. You don't have this knowledge. All those are limitations. If you continue to live by it, you will one day wake up and waste a lot of years. You just see your life go by. So I'm going to encourage you to break out that box. Put away the expectations. Put away the expectations. Find out what God's expectations for you and start walking in that. And trust me, when you start to do that, and even in my own life, testify you know, for myself as well, that you're going to really see some true change. You're going to truly start living life. So that's it for today, and I'll see y'all next time.